choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. What time did I get in last night? Ah, oh, shit! Looks like my Peeble sleep monitor got reset. I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month circadian master sleep achievement. What the hell is this? Let me just cycle through the moods and reset this thing. There we go. All set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. What is this? Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Attention, tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to, pr to avoid further action. This is a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges, such as court and attorney's fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with building management as soon as possible to avoid further issue. Sincerely, management. It's always something, isn't it? Come to see if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouched for you, and my manager hates slackers. Well, at least you... At least I've got a job for today. Grab your apartment key, grab your bank card. Hang on. So... Whoop. Where is it? I know he's here. Uh, excuse me. Mr. Tuilager? 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 Looking for her litter calendar. There never is enough time in the day, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to do. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. <laughs> Where's her girlfriend? Things, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. Oh, that's a real shame. He's such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have, uh, to have some help. Uh. Huh. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done by myself. Have a good day, Steve. I hope you find what you need. So that's... that's the place. Oh, cheap-ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. I wonder if there's a way to... Hold it, you mangy punk! You really think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap on, clap, clap off thing installed last week. Just where in the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you gonna pay me what you owe me? Or am I gonna have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Look, I just need some time. I'm waiting on a check from my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay. Look, the check's gonna be here soon. It's gotta be here soon. Just give me until when the mail's been delivered, okay? 
I don't care what old bag you've got to sell that micro dick to. You're out of time. Go and show. Pay me 500 by the end of the day, or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. You gotta give me that key or what? I know you've got it in your pockets. You really want me to hand over my key? It's better... Honestly, right now, it would be better to just... Try to avoid trouble. <laughs> Fine, I think I have it on me somewhere. Whoop. Whoop. Come see me when you've got the money, and I'll let you back into your room. See you later, deadbeat. What a fucking asshole. 500 by the end of the day. I can do this. I already got work at the Phoenix, or I can go help Mrs. Tewilliger. Time to get to work. I really don't want to get evicted. I gotta try and get to an ATM and actually see what money I have. Hey, Steve. How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm good, Billinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. Oh, I got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Yeah, sounds productive. Well, I gotta hustle. My landlord wants $500 by the end of the day, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie heroes figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off. Or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Bellinger gave you a station wagon. Yeah, thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. Yeah, if you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Which apparently you've been wearing for a while. Is that blood? Well, nothing... Okay... And I have a sandwich. So, uh, let's see, where's, okay, here we go. One, 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 nine is still my pin number. Got to change it sometime. Don't need to think of her birthday every time I check my bank balance. One. Oh, one, 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 nine. Welcome, Steve. Checking balance. Your current balance is 13. Wow. Please choose one of the following options. Uh, I'll thank you for using Nation's Bank. Hey, there's a gas leak, so I can't let you pass. Should be cleared up in a day or so. Okay, so I guess I'm not going that way. Uh, I don't know, that looks like a phoenix. Uh, I've had a lot of good memories here at the phoenix. Dark half should be waiting for me inside. Whoa, partner. We ain't open yet. Uh, excuse me? I said we're closed, dipshit. Why don't you... Hmm. Why don't you turn around and get lost? Yeah, I'm working here today. Star Kef around? Oh, you're the asshole everyone's been waiting on then? 
Doc Jeff's in the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. Um, which way's the main room? That's the main room. And the dead rise. You're late, too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? Nah, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. How have you been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper. And I don't know how well it's gonna go without her. Yeah, I know what you mean. Not a day goes by where I don't wonder how different my life would be if she hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we on this shit again. Look, Emma left you, what, a year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. It's just not that easy for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but my life's been kind of shitty for me ever since she left. Man, how long are you going to blame her for everything? Seriously, you got to take some responsibility. Remember, she left you because of what you did. You know what? Fuck you. Not all of us are happy to be rid of her ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I'm saying is, ever since I left Viper, I'm realizing how it's the choices we make that define us. Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer when my sound's all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. Now that's nonsense. Everyone's just scared to change. Your manager makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it. But you haven't heard me since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous is all. Kind of wish I had something to calm my nerves. Now, oh, well, it's my burden to bear. Here's a layout for the equipment. Try to follow it exactly. I've got enough to worry about tonight. Uh, since you slept in, we don't have time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. Okay. Do I need to write this down, or am I going <laughs> to... Do I have to write this down, or am I going to be able to... I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work the spotlights for you. Picked up the guitar. Hang on. I still have that note, right? Yeah. So guitar is... Right... Stage right. Down stage right. So... Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, the microphone's a little offset. This better be a damn good show. Picked up the microphone. That is right there. Connect cable A to... Wait, that's not right. I swear to God, if I get this right and you still screw it up. <laughs> Set that up there. Uh, I hope that... I hope I put that together right. It's a base! There's not assembly required. Hey, hey, Steve. Ugh. Viper? What are you doing here? Thought you and Darkef split. You sure he's cool with you hanging around here before his show? 
Trust me, if I know Dark Hef, he's missing me like crazy right now. He's probably already told you so, hasn't he? No, he hasn't. Hasn't said a word about you, to be frank. Hate to break it to you, but I think you two are at Splitsville for good this time. I always know when you're lying, Steve. I also know when my baby is super nervous, which is why I brought him a present. It's a baggie of heroin. You out of your goddamn mind? Dark has been doing so well. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing the needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and he doesn't need you making his decisions for him. If he's nervous about the show and this helps calm him down, then who are we to get in his way? You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie! Darkhef left you for a reason. What don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, Steve. You don't know the first thing about Darkhef. What he needs or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about mine. Good luck with the fucking show. If my baby bombs, it's all your fault. What a psycho. Picked up the drums. That was... Okay. So that's upstage left. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Picked up the keyboard. Set up the equipment there. I'm working up a sweat here. Well, that's about as good as it's going to get, I guess. Well, how'd it go? Well, take a look for yourself. Whoa, what do we have here? I'm going to put this away. We'd get in a lot of trouble if someone found a bag of heroin on the floor during the concert. Damn, fine work! So rare that I get to walk on stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos to you. Here's a hundred I promised you. You earned every penny of it. Dark Heifer, Dark Heifer gave me a hundred. Yeah, Benny said Viper swung by earlier. Did you talk to her at all? Was she looking for her? Yeah, she did stop by. But really? She didn't leave anything here, did she? Yeah, you already got it. And that crazy junkie nearly took my head off with her bag of smack. You sure you don't want me to hold on to that stuff for you? I can get rid of it if you like. I'll be okay. Seriously, I appreciate the concern, though. I was gonna come across it again sooner or later. Well, I guess I gotta go get ready for the show. Feel free to come back to the club a little later if you're interested in working Kojak. We're short-staffed and we could use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey, Steve. You're a good friend. I have a really bad feeling about that. I hope I made Dark Calf. I hope I made the right call with Dark Calf. He's really been there for me this past year. I gotta, I gotta go after him. You can do this, man. You don't need that crap anymore. You don't need her anymore either. You know what? Well, you know what? A bit stronger than than you might have thought. Yeah, what a strange night. I still can't believe Viper showed up like that. Maybe I should stick around for the concert and help with the coat check. Then again, Mrs. Tuilugger did ask for my help. I suppose seeing what she needed would be worthwhile, even if I am more than a little late. 